if you are new here, hi, my name is Twee. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. Oh, yeah. So today I was really, really inspired by my backdrop right here. Super fancy. I'm loving these coloured backdrops. Let me know, do you like the coloured or do you just prefer the white? Let your girl know down below. I created this cute blue floating eyeliner cut crease type look. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. We're starting off from a fresh base again. Just how you guys like it. So I'm going to get started with primer first. This is from Laura Geller. It's the under makeup primer. Gosh, I'm just putting this on all over my screen. I really like this backdrop guys. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you know what's really cool about this backdrop? It's actually not the fabric colour. The fabric colour is actually this colour here, which is also quite cute. It's like a greyish colour, but I have a blue film sitting on top of the light that makes it all like fancy and stuff. If you guys want to know a bit more about my setup, check out my beauty room tour. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to go in the brand new Bounce by Beauty Blender. Um, I actually have been waiting for this for ages. I was meant to get like a little package for the egg and all that, and mine just never came. I have no idea if someone stole my egg. Something I do have to say is that the colouring I find is very weird. Like the numbering system, I feel like it's quite difficult. They should have done something a bit easier because it all has different undertones and it's very similar and like 0.5 doesn't mean it's olive and it's just so weird. So I've got 340, 330 and 355. Like you think that 3.55 will be darker than 330 but they literally look the same. They didn't really send me my right shades unfortunately so we're going to have to make do with what we got. One thing I do have to say is I love the component. I love the fact that it has a lock at the back. It's got a really cool nozzle that points downwards so it kind of gathered everything here instead of putting it on the back of your hand. We're going to try 3.55 and then we're also going to try 3.30. I'm going to do a little swatchy swatch of 3.30 and then I'm going to do 5.55. 3.55 is a bit more olive so we're going to go with that one but I do have to say that the colour is a lot lighter. I know it probably matches on camera, but my neck is actually quite dark and more tan than my face. I'm just using my damp beauty blender. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this all over my skin. First off the bat, I do have to say, this foundation gives a uh, medium coverage. I can still see all my acne scars. You can build it up, but I have used one pump already, and it's kind of covered half my face, but nowhere near as much coverage as I'm normally used to. So I'm going to do two more pumps. I'm just going to build it up again to see if it covers up all of my acne scarring. So I actually met with the owner of Beauty Blender at a dinner for the launch of these foundations. And she did say that there is going to be a big shade expansion. Like they have at least 11 shades already ready to go. So I think in the next few months they're definitely going to be rolling that out because... The whole controversy of, you know, not enough darker shades and stuff, I found it was so crazy that brands wouldn't be able to see, like, look at that huge lineup for lighter skins and medium skins, and then, like, the darker skin, there's, like, three shades. I found that ridiculous. But I am glad that they've noticed it and they've seen people's feedback and stuff and they have already put the wheels on to start everything rolling to get more shades running out. So yeah, hopefully there's going to be a shade for everyone so everyone can try out this foundation. So I just covered up half of my skin so you guys can see. So definitely the more that I layer this on, it's definitely giving me more coverage. So I'm going to go in with some cream contour. I don't normally ever do cream contouring. I find it's a really long process. But, you know, I am going out today. So I want my face to be extra snatched. So I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Blaze Contour Matte Bronzer. Okay, so we're putting the bronzer stick on my cheek. And I'm kind of patting on rather than swiping. Just so it has a natural soft blend. It's not like a harsh line. I do find this bronzing stick is a bit more dry. Or I don't know, it's because my room is freaking hella cold right now. So all my cream products are hard. It kind of has like a dome shape. So that it kind of blends into the skin really nicely. Without no harsh lines. So even like that, I feel like I don't even really need to put a brush on top of it. Just put some on my forehead as well. And then I'm just going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to apply some on my nose. And just put it on the sides of my nose. Just really lightly so it doesn't take away any coverage that's underneath on the foundation. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Essential High Coverage Concealer from Jouer in the shade called Honey. I'm just going to put this, this underneath my eyes just to give me some more coverage. Looking up close at the foundation, I feel like my skin doesn't look smooth. I find with some foundation it gives you a really smooth finish, whereas this one, it does look quite skin-like, but almost too much like my skin, because my skin has quite a lot of texture, and I feel like it doesn't like just smooth it out. And I feel like here, all of my smile lines, it keeps cracking. 
and that's not good. Blend out the concealer and then I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and I'll be back. Okay, so my brows are on. I do have a whole tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and I just powdered my skin and added a bit of highlight. The highlighter that I'm using today is Opal by Becca and I haven't used a highlighter forever and it's actually really pretty. So for today's video, I'm going to be using the brand new Morphe 35V eyeshadow palette. It's got a really nice selection of like blue, purples and kind of golden shades. I think this is a really, really pretty colour. They have a good mixture of bright shimmery colours and also a good mixture of matte colours as well. So we're going to be playing around with this today to go along the blue background. I haven't done blue eyeshadow for a while on my channel so I feel like today should be the perfect day to do one. So I'm going to start by blending in some brown into the crease. So I'm going to use this shade right here in the middle. And I'm just going to blend this just in really lightly because I still want this to be really nice and smoky. But I don't want blue all the way up to my brow bone. I'm also taking this shade right here, which looks quite nudey. But this, mixed with this, it gives it more of a lighter crease. Especially in the front here, I want this bit to be a bit more softer. So my skin has been so bad recently. It's been getting me down a little bit, but I have got a facial recently and I've been doing micro needling and it has been helping for sure. This product by Mura, the Rapid Age Spot Correcting Serum, this product is really, really good. It says clinical strength and it actually says on the back that it can help with pigmentation in one week. I've definitely seen it even out my complexion, but I've just been getting so many bumps on my skin. Like you probably can't see it because I have all this lighting here, but all my cheek, all here, it was so, so bad. Lucky I had a facial at Debbie Thomas Clinic, which is one of the best places to go for facials because she does so many different treatments. She does like micro needling, she does hydrofacial, she does lasers, like five different types of lasers. And they're all about using all different types of treatments to get as much benefits as possible in one session. Okay, so next up I'm gonna add a bit of shading into my crease with the blue shade. And I think my memory card's gonna run out of memory still. So I'm gonna go in with a dark blue. This one right here. I'm going to start working this on my outer crease right here. So I've actually got an appointment with a dermatologist at the end of this month. And I think I'm going to go on to Rakuten. If you guys have been here for a while, you guys will know that I've actually been on Rakuten before. So if you guys are interested, I would love to document my experience on Rakuten a second time round. Or maybe I can just do a video just talking about it. It is a really, really harsh drug to be taken. And you kind of have to take it if it's kind of like your last resort. I personally feel like for my job, I think it's really important to have clear skin because it makes you so self-conscious like honestly whenever i have to do shoots or anything with other brands i'm like oh my god i don't know what their lighting would be like what would my skin be like i don't want to take off my makeup in front of the camera there's all these thoughts that go through your head and it definitely stops me from taking up opportunities and i've turned down things because i'm like oh my god i don't know how my skin will look and stuff and that's not good you know that's not a good way to live your life so i'm excited to finally have my hospital appointment i've actually had this booked in for a long time but i've had surgeries and stuff so i kept having to get it pushed back and now i finally have nothing else planned i'm all done now so i found a last minute cancellation and i put my name down so yeah i'm finally gonna go see a dermatologist for my freaking skin i know i'm gonna get a lot of people saying that my skin is fine like you guys think that my skin is perfect and stuff guys most of the times it's all about lighting it's all about the filters that i use on snapchat and stuff it's also another reason why i don't like using instagram stories because of my skin i feel like the filters on there you know they don't look cute they make your skin look even worse or probably shows what it actually looks like this blue is not coming out like i want it to it's not really like popping i feel like it's because i put on that shade underneath and now it's not gripping to any base or anything like that grab's on his way to get me some bubble tea also, something I wanted to talk to you guys about was how do you guys feel about collabs? Do you guys like collabs? Do you guys find it a bit awkward? Sometimes I do find collabs a bit cringy to watch. I don't know why. But also, I love watching collabs as well if it's like a good team. If there's anyone in particular that you guys want me to do a collab video with, please comment down below. I was thinking to do one either with my sister or with my friends Danny or Archer or Gary let me know anything down below and also what type of video would you like to see would you like to see like just us getting ready would you like to see us having a mukbang eating away or do you guys want to see us do challenges I have no idea about stuff like this I've kind of avoided doing collabs on my channel because I wanted to kind of grow myself first before I kind of introduce anyone else on my channel but I feel like 
next year I really want to, you know, focus on this channel, do more stuff with it, do more vlogs so you guys can get to know me more as a person. Okay, so I just buffed out that blue kind of on the inner corners as well and it's looking a bit crazy. It's not really looking that great right now. So I'm going to use the brand new holiday collection by Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it's got like a blue shade in here and like kind of goldish shade so I'm going to roll with that. I would love to know what you guys think about Fenty Beauty like I felt like when they first came out I was like wow I love them so much but then I kind of felt like as the collections went on it's all very similar it's very galactic all very metallic and I'm just like come on bring out the nudes bring out some more liquid lipsticks and bring out some more like cool nude lip glosses you know I don't know I feel like there's such a market in there for just like nudes okay so I'm gonna go in with this shade called Glacier Gang reminds me of my Iceland vlog check it out right here okay so the packaging is really really cool it actually has like a little pop a bit here that you take off and you can dip your brush directly in there so actually before i do that let me cut my crease first i'm gonna go in with my cover fx power play concealer in the shade white so i'm gonna do like a cut crease here just where my actual crease is and i still want to see all of this kind of blending here so i'm not going to cut it too high so i'm just seeing where my natural crease is when i'm opening my eyes and i'm just going to do it just barely there just so it all kind of blends out all nicely and I'm just patting it on I'm kind of bringing it in about halfway and I'm just gonna feather it out just so it has a soft fade into that blue okay so now that I've got my crease on I'm gonna go in with that pig burn just with a flat shader brush oh god this looks like fallout silly I'm gonna put some powder underneath my eyes to catch the fallout because this looks really messy I have to put it on, especially on my nose, because I find a lot of fallout likes to sit on my nose and I can't dust it away properly. So instead of just picking it, I'm just whacking a load of pigment on my eye. That's guaranteed to get loads of fallout. So I'm just packing it on my brush by using the lid to tap off the excess. And I'm just putting this in the middle of my ass. Ooh. Ooh, yes. And I'm bringing it as high up to the crease as I can. I've got a little bit of concealer transfer. So I have to make sure I blend that out with the eyeshadow in a second. Ooh, yes! Come on, blue. I love blue eyeshadow so much. It's like my favourite, favourite shade to wear. So I'm going to go in with another pigment. This one is called Ice Cream. And this is a bit more like a yellowy gold. So I'm going to spray a bit of Fix Plus on my brush. Okay, and I'm just going to put this on my inner corner bit here. This is a really bright kind of yellowy kind of shade. So I really want it to kind of pop out. And I'm just going to blend these two colours together. So it kind of fades in really nicely as well. Oh my god, my legs so itchy! I've been watching so many different Amazon hauls. And I'm freaking addicted to Amazon right now. I've only got three months left of my Prime membership. So I'm like, what else can I buy? Okay, so that's it for the top. I might do like a little liner, something in the crease. But I'm going to go on my bottom lash line now with the Fenty Beauty beauty eye lip crayons i'm just gonna line my bottom lash line with this and then i'm just gonna buff out the bottom lash line just with like a blue from the palette so i've been getting so many questions and uh, people wanting to be like a instagram or they want to be on social media and stuff i really love talking about social media and i never ever thought in a hundred years that this would ever be my job whenever people ask me for my opinion i'm like oh my god i can't believe people are coming to me but there's so many things that i can say that i thought would be kind of like common sense but maybe because i've been doing it for a while that's why it seems new and natural to me but i get a lot of dms all the time about people like oh can you check out my page i'm trying to do what you're doing or i'm trying to like get on PR lists and stuff like that and when I click on their page I just feel like a lot of people don't put in the work as long as you're hard working you can succeed at anything it's all about your mentality and a lot of people when they think about this job they think oh brands are going to send me all these products not really because brands are sending products out for you to feature to your audience and if you don't really have an audience to feature stuff to then why are brands going to send you products so I feel like people need to change their mindset and try to just work on the way that they're doing their content or try to improve their skills try to improve your editing skills try to improve your lighting there's always things you can be improving and I feel like a lot of people don't want to put in that hard work you always have to be trying to evolve yourself and never go into this trying to just get free products like free products will come regardless guys it's almost kind of guaranteed to come if you keep working at it so don't even go into it for that because that's just going to be added bonus anyways if you do get successful at it all you need to do honestly is just 
focus on learning your skills and also learning how to improve photographing it, videoing it. So by things like watching videos on camera and how to do the settings, trying to think about like what lighting, what backdrop as well, because the backdrop plays a huge part in it. A lot of people, when I click on their page, their videos are like so dark and dingy, even though they're doing like a decent video, but just the quality itself is not the greatest it can be. And I don't even think people really need to, you know, go out and buy like a really expensive camera or anything like that, but you do need to invest a little bit of money, like, you know, buy a good phone stand, buy like a ring light, or what I would recommend is just to buy one of those clothing brows. You can probably get one for like £20 and just go buy a piece of fabric and just literally clamp that onto the clothing brow. And that's like a cheap, like £50 backdrop rig you have there. I think people just need to think outside the box a bit more rather than just being lazy with it. Also I get a lot of questions about like what camera equipment I use and all that stuff. It obviously does help and I'm always so open about sharing stuff like that but I also don't know people should invest a lot of money if they're not sure they can put up with the work because I think from the outside point of view it looks like we don't really do much and some days I'm not gonna lie there are days where I don't do much at all but then there's some days that I'm literally working my back is cracking from being hunched over the laptop that like I'll go on someone's page and they'll do like really cute eye makeup looks but then they haven't posted for like three days or they'll post too much continuous photos all of the same look which I used to do as well but I definitely would say don't do that anymore because it looks very repetitive so you want to make sure every day you're posting something different because people get bored you know people don't want to see something over and over again because it looks quite spammy you always need to think of new ways to like reinvent yourself and then later on you can repost those other photos that you have of that look but just try to just keep pushing yourself and trying out new stuff going on the trends seeing what people are doing at the time like you know for Halloween everyone was doing those spider looks that's like a perfect time to like try out a new look and that's just by using like black eyeliner so you need to kind of be quick and kind of jump on those trends a lot of other things I've been seeing people do that's not wrong but they could improve it is like they'll do close-up shots but like you don't pluck your eyebrows <laughs> and I know this sounds really really stupid but to get a really crisp close-up look you should pluck them damn eyebrows girl like all those little stray hair it's like the first thing that you see as soon as you see the photo and it's really annoying because you can have an amazing makeup look but if the brows and everything are all like horrible and it's not really defined and it's not really crisp then that takes away from your makeup look and then also brands might think oh no like they don't want to repost stuff like that as well so just really take into consideration those kind of little details even if you don't want to pluck your eyebrows go onto facetune use the patch tool and just patch it out you can also edit your makeup to be a bit more vibrant because i know trying to photograph your makeup is also really really hard so learn how to edit just watch youtube i feel like a lot of people they're just quite lazy these days they feel like oh i've done all the steps why am i not getting successful i know of course it is very frustrating that you put in all this work but you also have to think like okay this is not working what else can i do next you should never get like discouraged and then just stop doing it because that is why probably 99 percent of people are not successful doing this because they're just too impatient they don't want to put in the work like whenever i watch really big youtubers they always say like it took them four or five years of doing free makeup tutorials back to back before they got any recognition now they're really really big things are never successful overnight and it takes a lot of hard work and working for free until anything happens you know so keep going don't get discouraged if you've got any other questions i'll feel maybe like another q a and talk about it a bit more but i love talking about like how to grow your social media and stuff i'm really open about stuff like that and i feel like a lot of people aren't so if you guys do have any other questions I would love to answer. Okay, so I just done my eyes. I just literally done the same steps on the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna use this brand new Kat Von D white ink well eyeliner. So you have to make sure you shake these because they do come out quite watery if you don't. And I'm just gonna line this top bit here. Hopefully this is really nice and opaque. I do feel like Instagram is a lot easier than YouTube. YouTube is really good if you have more like personality and you love chatting. If you're a bit more shy, maybe YouTube isn't the best, but then it is good to help grow your confidence. Instagram, you don't really care about your personality really. It's all about how you look and how you take the photos. So it depends on what type of personality you have, you know. Hold my breath, I'm a bit scared. I think NYX also has a white eyeliner. If you want to get a more affordable one, maybe try the next one. 
I have to make sure I keep shaking this because the black keeps getting on top of the white and it turns grey. Okay, so I've got the white on. Do have to say the eyeliner dries really, really quickly and it kind of crumbled a little bit. So hopefully it's not going to be too bad. White eyelids are really hard to get really nice and opaque because a lot of time it goes a bit see-through. So you have to keep going on top and then that's when the crumbled situation happens, you know? So I'm going to go on top with the black version of it. I love the freaking point on this. I just want to like jab someone in the eye like... <laughs> So I'm gonna go on top of this eyeliner. It's the first time I'm using it, but the other day I tried it on my hand and I swear I couldn't even get it off in the shower. It was super long wearing. So I'm gonna make this more smoky on the outer corners. Like definitely a lot thicker here. Okay guys, so I just put on my lashes. I just put on my favourite pair of lashes at the moment. These are from Lava Lashes and they're in a style called Mystery. And they're super long and fluffy and they kind of wing out on the outer corners as well. So on my lips now, I'm going to go in with this brand new product I just got in this morning. And it's super cute. It's the Gingerbread Scented Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. So of course you can go for a lighter lip. I'm going to go a little bit darker and give it a little bit of, you know extra kick on my lips and this shade apparently it smells like gingerbread let me smell mm, not really <laughs> is it meant to smell like ginger? yeah it says gingerbread scented it smells like chocolate brownie <laughs> you're missing the damn ginger can i just say how cute the freaking cap is it's got little gingerbread men oh my god it's not even gingerbread men on the top it's gingerbread girls oh yeah they've got little pink bows and everything wearing a little cute dress okay so i'm gonna go in on my lips this is such an autumnal lip colour. Perfect for fall. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this kind of like floating white eyeliner. I really love the white right on here. It really makes the eyes stand out. And also the darker lip. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys haven't followed me on all my other social media platforms yet, it's just X Tweely on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I would love for you guys to join me and subscribe to my little YouTube family. So it would mean so much to me if you guys joined in. I upload on here twice a week. So regular videos for you. So that's it for this video, guys. Enjoy the bloopers. Bye. How the hell did I get completely out of the frame before? Shut up! Fuckers. Oh, Grant's home. My bubble tea's coming. Happy face. Thanks, babe. You're the best. I actually got tapioca today. You have to make sure you shake it all up. Oh my god, look at all the toppings I've got. I love it, like, full of topping. I just love it. It's like a snack and a drink at the same time. Ah! Ah! My straw. Ah! Oh, my God. Fucking bitch. There we go. Oh, my God.